Hello friends, how are you doing today? My name is Mary and this is Happily Ever Ash. So today I am doing the springtime book tag. This tag was created by Amy Jane Smith. I will put her original video down in the um, description box down below, but I absolutely love um, this, these seasonal tags. Um, these are some really interesting questions and I love spring, so I'm excited to do this tag. So question number one is what book are you most excited to read about in the next coming months? Um, I just put up my Tome Topple TBR, so I'm really excited to get to all of these books in the next couple weeks, but <clears throat> some books that were on my spring TBR that I am excited to get to are The Cruelest Month by Louise Penny. These are cozy mysteries um, set in Three Pines. This one is set in the springtime, so I'm really looking forward to getting to it soon. The next is Anne of Green Gable um, by Ellen Montgomery. I have never read Anne of Green Gables, um, and so I am so excited to get to this this spring. For some reason, this just feels like a springtime book to me, and there have been so many people talking about um, Anne of Green Gables. Um, Katie over at Life Between Words, um, Robin over at Reading with Robin is going to read it this month, and she has a beautiful Puffin and Bloom um, edition every time I see it. I'm just like, ah, so I'm just so pumped to get to this one this spring. And then also The Blue Girl by Lori Foos. I've just been thinking, I don't know if it's because of the bright coral cover or just kind of the magical realism elements in the story, but this is another one that I'm really looking forward to getting to this spring. Question number two is what book most makes you think of spring for whatever reason? And it does say for whatever reason. So I will put a picture of the children's book that comes to my mind. It is an Easter book about a rabbit who goes around and paints eggs. He's the Easter Bunny. I have no idea um, what the book is called. So if I can find it, I'll put a picture of it here. I think if I Google some of those keywords, I might be able to. But this just screams springtime to me. And when I read this question, that was the first thing that popped into my head. So question number three is the days are getting longer. What is the longest book that you've read? I don't know what the longest book that I've ever read is because there's potentially books that I've read that are longer than these but some of my more recent reads would be The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss which is over 600 pages also I just finished North and South spoiler alert I loved it um, and that is 550 pages so those are just some two big books that I've recently read and hopefully after Tone Topple I will have two or three more big books to add to that list what book would you recommend to brighten someone's day? And for that, I chose Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. This is a Persephone classic, and they have those beautiful um, in papers, and they're just very well-made books. But this is a very twee, sweet, British modern classic story following Miss Pettigrew, who is this older lady. She's kind of down in the dumps. She's just gotten fired and she has to, she's a governess or a nanny and so she's going to this kind of final chance job. She's just really down on her luck um, and she goes, she knocks on this door. She's had to like muster up all of her courage to knock on this door and this young beautiful like fashionable lady of the moment answers the door and just pulls her in and is like and her day just takes off from there. It, it, this book is um, one day in Miss Pettigrew's life and just kind of how her world changes. It is an absolutely sweet story. Mrs. Pettigrew is so wonderful. Um, it's so cool to hear her thoughts. She is just, ah, she just warms my heart. And I think that the story though, it is a tie up with a beautiful big bow at the end. I think that this book would brighten someone's day. Question number five, spring brings new life in nature. Think up a book that doesn't exist, but you wish that it did. So I've kind of been thinking about this and I think I wish that I could take some of like the best authors um, of the past, like in particular Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, maybe one of the Bronte sisters and kind of um, take them from that time and move them into modern time and see what they would write. I would just be so interested to hear their takes on, you know, societal issues, um, 
on like issues like social media, how we interact with one another. Like I would just love to have them as modern writers and just to hear what they would write about. Um, so yeah, I think that's what what I wish existed, I think, especially Jane Austen. Like, I feel like she would have some hilarious things to say about modern society and times. Question number six, spring is also a time for growth. How has your reading changed over the years? Um, I've always been a reader. I have loved reading ever since I was a young child. That was kind of like a defining part of me as a child and probably for a lot of people who are readers now, like that's how people knew me, that I love books. I always had a book. Um, I was always reading. And so I read a ton when I was younger, especially like um, elementary, like middle school years. In high school and you know college that kind of tapered off I still like to read I still was reading but a lot of it would either be assigned reading or things that I had to read and if I, I was picking up a book it was on breaks or here and there and it took me like a really long time to finish whatever I was reading um, and so now I think after graduating I'm kind of rediscovering like my natural pace of reading um, how much I want to read those types of things so yeah I've always been a reader but there's definitely been fluctuations and I'm sure there'll be fluctuations for the rest of my life um, but yeah question number seven we're a couple months into the year how's your reading going I am very happy with my reading I set my Goodreads goal at 60 books I've read I think my Goodreads says 19 I'm in the middle of a few that I'm hoping to finish up at the end of this week and so yeah my reading is going quite well I read 50 books last year um, but a lot of the books that I've been reading this year um, have been things that I've been wanting to read and they're bigger books and like reading The Name of the Wind was a huge thing for me like I just sat down and did it and I'm really proud of myself for that um, which sounds so silly like they're just big books read them but yeah I am very pleased with how far this year has gone March wasn't my favorite reading month but January and February were great and then question number eight any plans you have coming up in the next couple months I do um, the second week of May well my husband's graduating um, in May and then right after his graduation we are going to um, the Ozark National Forest and we are going to stay for two nights we're gonna stay in tree houses and I'll put some pictures here they're very fancy like luxury tree houses like we are definitely not roughing it um, which is kind of different for us because we we love to camp and all the trips that we have taken together as married people have been predominantly um, camping trips and so it will be kind of fun to stay in these tree houses still be in the wilderness they're pretty secluded um and just beautiful tree houses and so still kind of have those wilderness vibes but be in this kind of fancier place but then after that we'll be camping for uh, three or four nights in the ozark national forest and we're so excited um we've been to some national parks but not to any national forest to stay so it will be it'll be an interesting experience and that the ozark national forests aren't too far for us from us um we took a trip to Montana uh, at the end of summer in 2016, which was like our big trip. So this is kind of a smaller trip and it's a little closer and it'll be, it'll be fun to kind of explore that area. We're really excited about that. And then also we're moving, which isn't like a trip or anything, but it's a big thing. We're, we're moving from where we are now because my husband's graduating and going to uh, Mizzou where he's going to PT school and I'm so excited. I, um, we just finalized where we're going to be living. We have our apartment nailed down and I'm excited to to just know and have a, a steady place like yes I know where we're going now and yeah so sad that we're leaving we've built a lot of really good friendships and relationships with people here but also excited to kind of start and do something new so that'll be fun what's the springtime book tag I am gonna tag a few people I'm gonna tag um, Robin over at reading with Robin I want to tag um, April at getting hugo with it Maria at read create repeat homeschool Haley from Haley reads and I want to tag Jen from Jen the Librarian. And anyone else who wants to do this tag, I think it's fun for spring, um, answer some springy questions, and yeah, I would love to see anyone else do this tag as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I hope to talk to you all very soon. Bye.